Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today I'm actually going to be doing what a commenter asked me to do which was to get my so called observable universe object and actually make a solar system around it so when I saw it I was like would this even work but then I thought about it and I thought yeah it would actually so if I get my um, observable universe glitched star this thing is humongous like if we just place it here look at the values there look if we just um, go to edit mode what even so that's um, 1.19 oh, million so, uh, Milky Ways in size. This is the largest object I can actually get in the game, so I don't actually know if it's the size of the observable universe, that value there, but this object you can't make any bigger, as I can see here. Like, it barely goes up. Um, oh, it does actually. Wait, hang on. But it's not actually getting bigger. That's the thing. If I make, try and make it bigger, or enter any value in, it won't get bigger. Like, I can, um, also, I can increase the value here, but when I save it or reload the simulation, or even just save the object, it just resets to this value here. Like, I just do that. Oh no, it gets reset. See, like, so this is the largest you can possibly get an object in Universe Sandbox 2. There's nothing larger than this possible. So, yeah, I've got myself a pretty interesting object here. It's pretty cool stuff. Now, I believe I'm the only one who has this that I know about as well. See, it even has a supernova, but. Yeah, and now we're glitched, because I, I went in it, and the kind of can't get out. So we're going to go and open up a new simulation, and somehow we're going to make a solar system around this. So let's get my observable universe again, as we can see right here. So this thing is just absolutely massive. Like, we can get a galaxy in to compare this. So maybe we can make a crazy galaxy system almost. Like, if we um, yeah, get this um, galaxy here, then we zoom in. You may have seen this object in my um, last size comparison as well, and it will be coming back for my new one, which I'm going to be working on. So this is an in this is a galaxy, but if we zoom out, the galaxy is no longer visible. We have to zoom out all to this size to get this. So we literally need so many galaxies to fill that thing up. Like it's absolutely crazy. So yeah, this is the largest possible object. Because like I proved before, you, it says you increase it, but as soon as you go out of the menu, it goes back. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So going to delete that and also can change the color by changing the temperature of it as well so we can always have different colors which is pretty pretty cool stuff i think i might go for a sun sort of color so let's go five six zero zero like that so yeah a little like the sun and we can't really do anything with the luminosity of this as well because this is the highest luminosity as well i believe oh no it's not wait can we make it bigger then wait if we put uh what about one million suns i don't know you no matter how large i make this value it's just gonna reset to that again pretty much so that's that again so this thing can't admit any light pretty much like we can put an object really really close to it like there but it's still like light years apart from the main star but if we um zoom in here this Jupiter should be in complete darkness I want to say so we have to zoom in so much and pause and there it is so it's all glitching out here oh my god so this yeah this Jupiter is in complete darkness as we can see here, so this object literally admits exactly no light whatsoever, so yeah, pretty interesting stuff, so I think we can try and make it in a binary orbit with something with a lot of mass, so let's pick um, A to Karen A, yeah 160 suns, we can put it in a, I don't know if it will go in a binary orbit, but we'll just put it over here, so we've got a binary star system, so if we zoom into A to Karen A here, so I'm still zooming in right now guys, like look how much I have to zoom in, I'm still zooming in and there we go. So as you can see, yeah, when I got this object in the simulation, yeah, it's like unplayable because of all these, um, I don't know why it keeps on wobbling around like that, all I'm doing is dragging the screen, but yeah, this is just absolutely crazy. So I'm going to somehow try and make a solar system here around Ada Karen. Let's put a few planets and then a... Uh, Make try and get an Earth-like planet maybe, and then we've got that humongous object in the sky. Because this is a, um, well, let's have a look. So, this is over, wait, these are, let's have a look, it's still going. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. So, that is, what value even is that? I'm just counting quick. Uh, 100,000, uh, 10,000, 100,000. So that's nine, I think that's... No, nine, 95 million light year or Milky Ways away from each other, this binary system. This is like the largest solar system ever. Because, would you call it even a solar system? That thing, this observable universe object is just completely ridiculously crazy and glitched out. As you can see, 
Like I said, it's making the simulation glitch. But anyway, let's go and put some random planets around Ada Carinae here. So we'll start off with a gas giant. Oh, look at the orbit. So why is it, it's not even a circle? Wait, that is so weird. So I'll put one there. We'll have a second gas giant. Then we'll have some rocky planets. So let's do that, like that. So one, two, three. And we've got another Fekery. So that means, wait, is that, so does that prove the theory that there's only a certain amount of names that these objects can be called? I thought it was like an infinite amount, but I've spawned a Fekery before and I have it in a saved simulate or a saved, um, a saved object here. So it's just spawned another one. So that means there's a limited amount of names. I thought it was like unlimited, the amount of names you could possibly get for spawning random objects, but apparently not. So I've got another Fekery here. <laughs> All right, anyways. Let's go back to, um, let's actually use Fekri, we'll actually maybe colonise this one. Oh my god, look how wobbly it is. Wait, where even is it? Is it even possible to make a, a solar system here? I don't even know where it's gone. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so I don't think we can really zoom into the planets, but we can, we can, um, colonise them from a distance. So if we hit play, so there is our very, very weird solar system here. That's definitely not gonna work. Look how, look how wobbly this is. This is ridiculous. So we can try and fly to it manually I'm not selected on the object right now so can we even spy it I'm zooming in Fekery come here I can't even see it um where'd it go alright there it is I'm pressing forward right now but we seem to be going down that's so we can go left pretty quick wow I literally have no idea what's going on this is like the ultimate glitched See, like, I zoomed into it, and then it's gone! Like, wh what happened? <laughs> so... See, it's there, it just, like, throws you past it, almost. It's so weird. Um, we can try... Dark Matter! Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that galaxy in. Oh, well. Um, let's go to it again. See, it's literally... It oh! Oh, I did it! Wait, there we go. So I zoomed into it. So we're gonna have to slow down time a lot here, so we can actually keep an eye on it. So let's put it to... Under a few milliseconds, like that. Okay, there we go. So we can actually see this. I can't move left or right for some reason either. I can only go up and down. So, yeah, I I'm trying to go forwards here. I can't go forwards. I can only go up or down. <laughs> wow, this is really bugged. Oh, my God. That glitch star. Where even is it? Hey, whereabouts is it? Wait, is it gone? Wait, Ada Karen, where is it? Oh, no, it's still here. It's just not visible because it's so glitched. I think it disappears when you zoom in too much. This is very strange, this glitch. Alright, so let's try and make this a colonizable one. So let's try and make it look pretty. So we'll add like green and, I don't know, sort of like sandy planet maybe. So and now let's add some water to it. Can't really get a good view of it, sadly, but yeah, sorry about that. Can't really do anything. This object is so glitched, it makes everything go weird. So let's. Alright, too much. Too, um, or too less water now. Alright. Uh, it's keeps on evaporating, dang it. Alright, let's put it to 20 degrees. Let's um, change how much light it reflects. So let's put it so it reflects a lot of light. Let's give it a atmosphere. So we'll give it about an atmosphere of 0.5 Earths like that. And we're still we're still going here. Um, can we, does it even gonna work? It doesn't seem to be adding water to the surface anymore. That is that is peculiar. Okay, let's speed it up a bit maybe. Maybe that'll help. Oh, there we go. There we are. Perfect. So it's looking good. So let's just pull the water down now. And there we go. So this is the best view you're going to get, guys. I'm sorry about that, but maybe I could go through it. Okay, that's definitely not... That definitely didn't work. Um, now we're very far away, apparently. So this is just how bogged out <laughs> this simulation is. Okay, so... Let's look at this. It's all shaking. It's all weird. Okay, there's that thing again. So if we just zoom in here, I think that disappears once we get to a certain distance from something. I have to go to a planet, maybe. See, it disappears, see? That actually disappeared. So where's this gas giant gone? See, we literally cannot zoom in on this simulation. That's just how messed up this is. We've got a burning rocky planet here. Let's make it a little more like, volcanic looking, so give it a dark, like, black sort of um, look, because, yeah, if it was a volcano, it would pretty much have, like, black rock. It would be a very nasty place to be. So, here we go. Yeah, planet completely made of volcanoes and lava and magma and stuff. Yeah, you won't see any different colours other than greys and blacks on this thing. 
Alright, so. There we go, does that look good? I don't know. It looks like there's lava all over it, that's for sure. Yeah, I think that looks like a volcanic sort of planet, so it looks nice. Alright. Because it's not like Jupiter's moon Io, because that's more of a yellow planet. But if the whole thing was literally just molten rock all the time, it, it probably and if it cooled down, it probably would be a black sort of colour. Or black or grey, so yeah, there you go. Maybe we should add an atmosphere to it. That would make things good. Let's add, there we go, we've got a sort of atmosphere here, just to increase the temperature a bit. There we go, that looks better. So then we've got Fekri, which is our supposed to be colonizable planet. Please cool down. Let's turn it to 99, maybe. Yeah, zero. Is it going to warm up? Okay, that should be a hatable planet now. Around. Yeah, it's 0 0.885 Earth similarity, life likelihood 0 0.521. Okay, not bad. So we probably could live on this like deserty sort of planet. See, we, we could live there. It's not too much water, but yeah, I'm sure we could manage it. <laughs> We've got tiny little lakes everywhere, not really an ocean, we've got some green trees or grass and then most of it is just desert sort of, um, all the yellowy orange like savanna sort of colour. Alright, next up we've got this rocky planet, that looks like my normal feckery actually, like if we just get my um, normal feckery in here, which is um, when I added a moon to the moon, that looks similar to that, I think, those two there. Alright, anyways, so I think we'll leave that one as um, what it is. Then next up, we've got a gas giant again, so we can't really do much with a gas giant. And um, don't even ask me to add moons. It, if I zoom into this planet too much, it's just going to wobble out like crazy, so you don't want to do that. Next up, we've got All In. It's another sort of gas giant. Yeah, there we are. And out here, Scum Satia. <laughs> 15 degrees. And the last one, Pit Pitrator. Pitrator? Uh, how do you say that? Pirator. Uh, I don't know. Mine is 15. So, guys, so that is my attempt at making a solar system around a, um, with my observable universe glitched out object, which is completely havoc and will not stop going crazy and all that, so, wow, it's just so weird, that. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me how I made this thing, because I made it back before I started making videos. I can't remember why I made this or how I made it. I think originally it was a humongous gas giant, like... It was the same size as it is now, but it was actually a gas giant instead. But I'm never going to delete this object, because this is unique. I don't think, unless they change the max limit of the objects, nothing else can get to this size without turning into a black hole. So this is pretty much the ultimate glitch star. So I'm hoping I'm the only guy in the world with this sort of sized object, but you never know, right? <laughs> it'd be pretty cool to be the only person with this object file. Because no, but I probably could send this to people through email, since each object, it is a... Um, it is like its own file, so I can literally copy and paste it out of the folder it's in and then put it in an email and send it off. But don't ask me to send it, this is mine. <laughs> yeah, and actually, um, yeah, I don't particularly want to be sending emails all day, so yeah, there's the thing. Alright, so yeah, there we go. So there's my solar system of absolute craziness. So now let's speed this up. And we're about to watch just Havoc. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the orbit's all crazy as well. Fekri seems to have lost its water. I oh, know it hasn't, I just didn't add enough. I right, guess add a little more. Water! Where is it? Water, please? Oh, where's the water at? We need to add more. Okay, it seems the ocean seems to be on that side of it. <laughs> wow, these orbits are crazy. Okay, let's just pause this quickly. Okay, so yeah, that looks good. I like deserty savanna sort of world. I like it. Very nice. Actually, put it on motion just so we can see all of it. Yeah, looking good. So we've got more of a foresty side here, and then we've got the main like ocean in this part. Looking good, actually. Let's call it, I think I'll save this as an object actually, so let's call it Fekery 2, and there we go, let's keep that saved. Alright, so will it stay in orbit or will it get interrupted by these gas giants, so, okay, it's looking good, oh wow, look at these orbits, <laughs> where's Fekery 2, minus 84 now, oh no, but it looks like when it gets closer it will warm up, yeah it does warm up, then it goes into winter again, so that's like a strange season, but I'm pretty sure we may be able to manage it all. Oh, minus 122, I don't know if we can manage that. If we had like good enough bases and or like bases on this planet where we could survive the cold, then possibly, but yeah, I don't know. Very weird seasons here. But uh, anyways, uh, there's my um, crazy solar system around my crazy star, which is just ridiculous. So yeah, the observable universe Nova remnant now. Alright, so, yeah, I don't think we'd find a supernova in there anyway. So, yeah, there we go, guys. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this um, pretty crazy video. And don't ask me to do anything with this star. Like, it's a death wish. This thing doesn't work. <laughs> this star is broken. It's, a, it's literally just messed up. So, 
yeah, I try and avoid asking ideas. If there's one I really like, I probably will do it on it. But yeah, I pretty much do want to avoid having that in another video because it is very buggy, as you can see when I zoomed into these objects. Like, we'll try it one more time. So we can't even like lock onto the star properly. I'm trying to zoom in and out. It's just shaking everywhere. We can try and go to a planet again. Zoom in here. And it's completely... Oh, it's like... Why can't we just go round? Like I can't. I can only go up or down. I'm trying to use the AS um, ASDW key here, um, and A and D should make you go left or right. Even the um, normal arrow key. Oh no, they don't do anything. But yeah, and I can only use W and S. So this is W, and then S. The S key is this. But A and D. You can probably hear me pressing here. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. So hope you guys um, all enjoyed. Make sure you have a good day. And if you haven't already, press that like button or something. And yeah, help us on the journey to 700 subs before the end of the month, because that would be awesome. But anyways, yeah, many thanks to everyone who subscribed recently, as I say every video. Much, much appreciated. Can't do it without you guys. You're awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.